Good morning, folks. Thin dark plasma filaments depart the earth-facing disk, while a couple new ones dance in on the northeastern limb. It is a quiet event on the sun, indicative of not only the coming sunspot minimum, but the coming grand solar minimum, as we're supposed to still be seeing some regular activity even as we trend towards the trough of the 11-year cycle. As it is, this quiet time can be seen no matter which way you look. This is 131 and 211 angstroms put together, good for flares, CMEs, filaments, sunspots, and coronal holes. Definitely a calm one on our star. Solar flaring, no surprise to be almost flatlined, and the sunspots are again not cooperating. The largest is a loner, and we're lacking anything really complex. Solar wind is calm as well, but the density spikes late last night followed by this morning's sharp rise in plasma temperature has finally delivered a slight ding to our magnetic system. Not any issue, it's just that the shield actually had to reach up his hand and shoo that fly away. So yesterday we saw the Earth's magnetic connectivity points start jumping from the departing opening to the small central coronal hole. That's it, resting with the filament dark center disk behind the Earth scale. We're looking for moderate rumbles as another one has jumped center disk now, and the next coronal hole enters the Earth facing half. You can see it there, dark, below the Earth scale coming in. This one is negatively polarized and will switch near Earth influence in a day or two. The top quake of the last day struck off the coast of Oregon just before midnight local time. We'll come back to an earth spot trigger. But first, folks, the lower membership price is hanging on by a thread another couple days until I get through all the support emails. I wasn't just going to cut it off with all of those of you still lingering out there, so price not going up until I get through those. By the way, your 51st Deeper Look episode was posted last night, the June Planetary Geometry Outlook. There will be some categorizing coming to this page so it's easier to navigate, along with the first piece of shared content from the Earth Changes Media Partnership coming later today. Twin systems in the East Pacific, a hurricane and a tropical storm neither set to turn north towards land, luckily. But there's also a load that snuck in closer to the northern California coastline. That's our earth spot quake trigger, less than 200 miles away from the Oregon rumble. Even the aftershock would be considered well above average for the region. Two concerns for the U.S. tonight. We have separated flows east and west, with the eastern system consisting of a full convergence line there. We'll have alerts to both heat flows, and just as importantly, a day off in the south-central U.S. Boy, they need it. In Europe, the story is all about that big low up north. It is our cloud regulator, but for some smaller systems off the southern water. Spain and France, a bit more in the mix today than you were yesterday. Down under, we have two systems of focus as well. The low between nations there is being stalked a thousand miles to the west by another system just creeping up on Perth now. Both systems offer reasons to pay attention to your local forecast down there. We've got ground level conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.